All okay, right. your controls. So, um, just to quickly talk about what we're going to see here. Um, we're going to take off. I'm going to give you a normal takeoff, but I'm going to use as much of the runway as I can. So, you know, get all the way back on it. Um, just so you can see how much runway we're going to use. Okay. This is a demonstration of what happens if you get to 50 feet and the engine decides to just quit. Okay. Right. Um, it's going to be very aggressive compared to what you're used to. Okay. Um, I'll have control the whole time. I've done this a ton of times. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Just be aware that it's going to be aggressive. All right, cool. Okay. Um, we'll probably talk most about it after it's done because things happen very fast. Yeah. When okay. This happens. Okay. Okay. And then we'll we'll just ta we'll taxi. Yeah, we'll back. taxi back. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take off again, um, and we'll get to 500 feet, and I'll show you an engine failure with the impossible turn and an emergency return to this runway. Okay. Cool. With the tailwind. With the tailwind. Okay. Ready? Ready. I have the controls. Your controls. Okay. And I have the radios as well. Okay. French Valley, uh, 172 is going to depart runway, runway 18. We're going to have an engine failure on takeoff at 50 feet and return to land runway 18. Clairvoyant. Yeah, right. Okay, heat slights, ignitions are all on. Let's see, your panel doesn't yep. apply in this airplane. I have good brakes. So we're using every single inch yeah. of this runway. Ready? Yep. Here's 18. Here we go. Second November, left crosswind for left downwind departure northbound. So a little so flat. Left Look how much runway we used. A lot of it. Jesus. And that's dumping full flaps immediately and a slip. Wow. Granted, I'm not overly hard on the brakes. I didn't force it on the ground immediately. I right. kind of let it fly onto the ground. Yeah. That's 6,000 feet of runway used. Yeah. <laughs> and a 172. Yeah. So what does that tell you? Uh, well, it tells you that you have not a lot of time to make that decision. Um... You have to keep keep um, the the runway length for whatever airport you're at in mind. Uh, two zero left, you know, is going to have a different um, considerations than than this place. All right. Um, you know, if we're at uh, Fallbrook, this is going to be very difficult. All right. <laughs> um, so here's the takeaway that I want you to understand: when people talk about no runway remaining. Think about how long they're waiting to declare no runway remaining. We just used 6,000 feet with a 10 knot headwind. Yeah. Like, pretty much as soon as you're through about 10 feet in a 172 off of 20 left, left of you're out of runway. Right. Like, you're going to be on taxiway alpha. Yeah. You know. so. Now, you obviously knew that it was coming, so when right. you pulled the power, you were, you know, you were automatic, you know. Instant you, push forward, yeah. full flaps, you, you, dump everything. Yeah, you were, you were anticipating it, right. but... You know, when you um, when you're not anticipating it, well, let me, let me put it this way: how how often of a failure are you going to have where the engine does fail to that extreme, like where it just it's off? Very few engine failures are full engine failures. Usually, you'll have some amount of power left. Yeah. If it is a full engine failure, it's friggin' catastrophic. Right. You've like, got a piston has departed the engine. Yeah. You've you've thrown a rod. Yeah. Exactly. So when that happens then yeah, it's like you've lost all power, obviously. Yeah. Those are rare. So so in a, in a kind of a, uh, a you know, less rare, more uh, partial engine failure, or, you know, you've got a hiccup, or fuel line is something where it's like, but, 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 like as you're kind of climbing yeah. out, um, are you, uh, are you pulling the power in that, in that situation? I'm going to keep the engine as long as I can. Okay. Um, now you're going to eat up more runway because you're not, you've you've you have power yeah. left. Um, if the odds are an engine failure that happens on takeoff is going to result in an off-field landing, like highly, highly, highly likely that's going to occur. Okay. So so, and so like this is just a this is a long runway. So what we just did is is safer because it is a longer runway. Right. But 
it's still the same. Um, the procedure is still exactly the same. It's just we're not landing on the remaining runway. We're landing on the... Exactly. Whatever. And the thing is, with an engine failure situation like that, you have an engine failure at a nose-high attitude, right? I wouldn't look yeah. at the speed and what it was when the engine failed. Yeah, I think it, was it was about probably, 80. Yeah. So I wasn't even, like, all the way nose up where, you know, you usually can be on a normal takeoff or even a short field takeoff. Yeah. Um, but you can see how fast that energy bleeds off, you know, until you get the nose down, in which case you have a ton more energy than you need, which is why you burn up so much runway. Right. Yeah. So if you leave the nose up after the engine failure happens, you're going to stall. Right. Yeah. But as soon as you get the nose down, you need to bleed all that energy. Yeah. Right. So that's why I immediately went to flaps 30, not because I was running out of energy, but because I was going to have too much. Yeah. Yeah, and went into the slip. And now, if you were, if we were in a situation where we were not in a, um, we have enough runway to make the landing, um, like uh, Fallbrook. Yeah. Um, there's fields there. Let's just say that it's kind of like a relatively forced landing friendly right. situation. Um, you wouldn't necessarily want to go full flaps, full slip to no. get it in, right? No, I wouldn't. Yeah. So um, I went full flap or full flaps and a slip to land here because I knew I was going back to the runway. Yeah. If I needed the extra five seconds to figure out where I'm going, right. Then I'll leave the flaps. Yeah. Up. But you yeah. still want to get the nose down because you need to get. Oh yeah, gotta get like, flying. You gotta get the airspeed up, and if you're at 80, you still have, you know, uh, not very much, but enough airspeed to play with. You know, you've got five knots of airspeed to play with with best glide. Right. Right. So, so you've, you've, you've got like maybe like a 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000 to have to like yeah. pick your spot. So realistically, the engine failed at 1,350. We probably topped out about 1,370. Yeah. And then pushed the nose push down because the there was still a little bit of momentum coming up. Yeah. Right. 